in South America, more specifically Peru, surprising discoveries keep popping up, revealing fascinating stories from ancient times as archaeologists dig into the past. Join us as we talk about the most intimidating discoveries from South America that shocked the whole world. 19. Pantanal Giant Armadillo In 2010, Arnaud Desbier initiated the Giant Armadillo Conservation Project in Brazil's Pantanal, the world's largest wetland, marking the inception of the first comprehensive study on these mysterious creatures. Back then, scant information was available about giant armadillos, with many landowners unaware of their existence. Arnaud's pioneering research yielded unexpected revelations. Through radio tracking and camera traps, he uncovered insights into giant armadillo habitat use, parenting behaviors, and their significant role as ecosystem engineers. The findings highlighted their burrows as refugees for over 25 species. State authorities designated the giant armadillo as an indicator species for protected areas in Mato Grosso do Sul, expanding the project into the threatened Cerrado tropical scrubland, where giant armadillos confront habitat loss, pesticides, fires, hunting, and road hazards, presents urgent challenges. The species' naturally low densities increase susceptibility to local extinction. Arnaud's ongoing project aims to gather critical data supporting the creation of protected areas, addressing threats in collaboration with local stakeholders. Additionally, it promotes the giant armadillo as a conservation symbol through educational outreach to landowners, school children, and the public. The initiative prioritizes capacity building for Brazilian biologists and vets through hands-on training. With only 2.2% of the Corrado under legal protection, the project plays a crucial role in preventing the extinction of giant armadillos, a living fossil and one of the oldest groups of mammals. Notably, it also contributes to the growth of conservation expertise in Brazil, 18, 15th century Chan Chan mass grave. So in modern day Peru, archeologists stumbled upon something pretty intriguing, a mass grave dating back to the 15th century in the ancient city of Chan Chan. Picture this, about 25 skeletons, mostly women, a couple of teens and kids, all surrounded by textile tools like needles and spindles. It's like they were buried with their work gear. Imagine being laid to rest with your laptop or toolbox. These women were likely the textile pros of their time, spending their days crafting fabrics. Buried in a seated position with bent legs, they were an interesting bunch, all under 30. The archaeologists, led by Jorge Meneses Batra, even found evidence of elite status with fancy grave goods like ceramics. But here's the kicker. They're still figuring out how these folks met their end. Some were laid to rest right after passing, while others joined the party later. It seems the Chimu people were playing musical graves, relocating and shuffling their deceased. Talk about a unique ancient burial practice, right? 17. Gruta do Lago Azul. Gruta do Lago Azul. Natural monument situated in Bonito, Mato Grosso do Sul, Brazil, stands as a testament to nature's intricate formations, housing two caves adorned with delicate calcareous structures. Recognized as a protected area since 1978, this site is characterized by its unique geological features. The main chamber of Gruta do Lago Azul unveils a gently sloping floor leading to an underground lake extending over 160 feet or 50 meters. The circular entrance, spanning about 130 feet or 40 meters in diameter, bathes the lake in sunlight, creating a captivating spectacle. From September to February, the waters undergo a remarkable transformation, adopting a vivid blue hue that lends the cave its name. Fossilized remains of large Pleistocene mammals, including giant sloths, armadillos, and saber-toothed tigers, have been discovered, offering a glimpse into the region's ancient biodiversity. 
In contrast, Gruta de Nossa Senhora Aparecida lacks water and natural light. This cavernous space features a single expansive hall with a floor that slopes to a width of 330 feet or 100 meters, adorned with speleothems, some resembling ethereal figures with wings and termed angels. The cave showcases nature's artistic expressions. However, for safety reasons, the Gruta de Nossa Senhora Aparecida remains closed to visitors. Designated as natural monuments by the National Institute of Historic and Artistic Heritage in 1978, both Gruta do Lago Azul and Gruta de Nossa Senhora Aparecida aim to safeguard their fragile, calcareous structures, the subterranean lake, its aquatic ecosystem, and the surrounding landscape. Guided visits, governed by regulations, allow visitors to appreciate the wonders of these caves without compromising their delicate ecological balance. 16. Animal defenders rescue three lions. 33 lions, born in captivity in Peru and Colombia, embarked on a 15-hour flight to South Africa for a chance at a new life. These lions will find sanctuary in the Amoya Big Cat Sanctuary, a vast 5,000 hectare or 12,355 acre expanse in the northern part of South Africa. Their journey is a tale of liberation from the chains of circus life, a road paved by Animal Defenders International ADI. Born in captivity, these lions faced the harsh reality of circus existence until their rescue in 2011, when Peru outlawed the use of wild animals in circuses. Colombia followed suit in 2013. ADI facilitated their relocation to the expansive sanctuary, offering them a refuge where they can reclaim some semblance of a natural life. A dedicated team of handlers and veterinarians accompanied the lions on their journey, ensuring their well-being during the flight. Despite the challenges of the 15-hour flight, all the lions arrived in Johannesburg in good health. This marks the beginning of a new chapter for these majestic creatures. 15. Rare Conjoined Bat Researchers in southeastern Brazil have made a rare discovery of conjoined bat twins, marking only the third case ever recorded. The newborn bats, found under a mango tree in 2001, were conjoined at the torso with two heads side by side. While the cause of identical twins being conjoined remains uncertain, it can result from a late split of a fertilized egg. The male large fruit-eating bat twins belonged to the Artebius genus and were found with their umbilical cord and placenta still attached, indicating their newborn status. The twins had separate heads and necks but shared a conjoined trunk with an abnormally expanded thorax. Ultrasound analysis revealed two similarly sized separate hearts. Dr. Marcelo Rodriguez Noguera, lead author of the study from the State University of Northern Rio de Janeiro, expressed the unexpected nature of the discovery, emphasizing the unique condition of the twins. The researchers have no immediate plans for further studies on the specimen. Conjoined twins in bats are exceptionally rare, with this being only the third reported case, the previous ones observed in 1969 and 2015. 14. Microbes in Lagoons In the remote Puna de Atacama Desert in Argentina, researchers stumbled upon an extraordinary ecosystem featuring crystal clear lagoons and expansive salt plains. Unprecedented and breathtaking, this newfound landscape spans 25 acres or 10 hectares, harboring mounds of rocks teeming with microbial life. The discovery, made by chance through satellite images, captivated scientists offering a glimpse into an otherworldly environment at an altitude of over 12,000 feet or 3,660 meters. Led by Brian Hynek from the University of Colorado Boulder and Maria Farias of Puna Bio, the researchers hiked through the arid high-altitude desert before encountering the 12 shallow crystalline pools surrounded by mountains. Beneath the lagoon's surface, they discovered mounds measuring 
15 feet or 4.6 meters across and several feet or meters high, adorned with green microbial growth. The microbial formations reminiscent of early life on Earth may even provide insights into ancient Martian life. Preliminary observations suggest these mounds could be stromatolites resembling those from Earth's Archean period. However, the urgency to study this unique ecosystem arises as the site faces imminent mining for lithium, posing a threat to its preservation. 13. Giant Termite Mounds A striking discovery in northeastern Brazil revealed an extensive network of over 200 million termite mounds arranged in a regularly spaced pattern and covering an area equivalent to Great Britain. The findings, published in Current Biology, highlight the age-old bioengineering efforts of termites, as the mounds are estimated to be up to 4,000 years old. These cone-shaped structures, reaching a height of approximately 8 feet or 2.5 meters and spanning 30 feet or 9 meters across, are not nests but the result of termites slowly excavating interconnected underground tunnels over millennia. Researchers, including Roy Funch from Brazil's Universidade Estadual de Feira de Santana and Stephen Martin from the University of Salford in the UK, discovered the mounds through satellite images. The immense size and age of these structures, hidden within the deciduous Caatinga forests of northeastern Brazil, make them a remarkable biological wonder. The termites' intricate activities creating vast quantities of soil in the form of cone-shaped mounds serve as an unparalleled example of bioengineering efforts by a single insect species. Soil samples from the mounds indicate ages ranging from 690 to 3,820 years, placing them among the world's oldest termite mounds. 12. Three-Fingered Alien Mummy Russian researchers have raised eyebrows by claiming that a mummy discovered in Peru, known as Maria, with an elongated head and only three fingers on each hand, possesses a different anatomical structure from humans. The team from St. Petersburg conducted preliminary analysis on the humanoid mummy, suggesting it may have the same number of chromosomes as a human, but differs anatomically. Professor Konstantin Korotkov of the Russian National Research University highlighted unusual features such as rounded rib structures, three fingers per hand, and an elongated head. While the team speculates on extraterrestrial origins, they also consider the possibility of the figures being from prehistoric tribes. The study has drawn skepticism from other researchers globally. Despite its remarkable preservation, the mummy's genetic makeup continues to be examined, and there are discussions about transferring it to Russia for further analysis. 11 world's heaviest mango. Ever seen a mango that's not just a fruit, but basically a heavyweight champion? Well, Colombian farmers German Orlando Novoa Barrera and Reina Maria Marroquin pulled off the impossible. They grew the world's heaviest mango in Guayatá, Colombia. This mango wasn't your average juicy delight. It tipped the scales at a whopping 9.36 pounds or 4.25 kilograms. That's like holding a small watermelon instead of a regular mango. Guinness World Records gave their nod, officially declaring this mega mango as a record breaker. The Philippines held the previous record with a 7.57 pound or 3.435 kilogram mango in 2009. But Jaman and Reina's mango decided it was time to steal the fruity limelight. Imagine noticing your backyard mango casually hitting the gym, getting all buff compared to its fellow fruits. Jaman's daughter, Dabagi, was the brains behind checking online, and voila, record in the bag. Jaman had a simple wish to showcase that in Colombia, they're down to earth, hardworking folks with a love for the countryside. In the midst of a pandemic, he saw this mango marvel as a symbol of hope 
and joy for the people. After the Guinness confirmation, what did they do? A family mango feast. They celebrated their fruity triumph in style, making sure history tasted as sweet as their record-breaking mango. Cheers to the heavyweight champ of mangoes, putting Guayata on the fruity map. 10. Giant sinkhole. A colossal sinkhole wider than the White House has emerged on mining land in Chile, unveiled on July 30th in a rural region near Tierra Amarilla. The pit spans over 100 feet or 30 meters in width and plunges to an estimated depth of around 656 feet or 200 meters, forming a vast crater that's now home to a water reservoir. The site was previously the Alcaparosa Copper Mine, owned by Canadian company Lunden Mining, which reports no casualties or damages resulting from the cavity's appearance. Serna Geomin, Chile's National Service of Geology and Mining, is investigating the colossal pit and erected a security perimeter around the scene. Sinkholes like this one develop when water accumulates underground without proper drainage, creating voids beneath the surface. Commonly linked to mining activities, they can emerge gradually or suddenly, posing risks to structures and landscapes. Tierra Amarilla's mayor, Cristobal Zuniga, expressed concerns about the impact of the Alcaparosa mining operation on the community. He emphasized the destruction caused by daily blasting and tremors, lamenting the harm inflicted on homes and streets, raising fears of similar incidents in more populated areas. 9. Massive rock art panels. Archaeologists from University College London, UCL, have meticulously documented expansive rock art panels along the Atures Rapids region in Venezuela's Amazonas state. Estimated to be around 2,000 years old, these petroglyphs, which are images pecked or carved into rock surfaces, showcase immense panels, with one exceeding 3,000 square feet or 279 square meters and containing 93 images. The motifs depict both humans and animals, with some potentially portraying a ceremonial renewal rite. Notably, a petroglyph illustrates a group surrounding an individual playing a flute, while another presents a horned snake stretching over 90 feet or 27 meters. Dr. Philip Ryrus from UCL's Institute of Archaeology, part of the research team, emphasized the Atures Rapids area as a convergence zone for various ethnicities, languages, and cultures. The rock art motifs exhibit similarities to sites in the vicinity as well as in Brazil, Colombia, and beyond, showcasing the extensive cultural connections in pre-Columbian and colonial times. The research, conducted as part of the Kutua Island Orinoco Reflexive Archaeology Project, shows the interactions between traders from diverse regions over two millennia before European colonization. Dr. Jose Oliver, the project's principal investigator, points out the significance of documenting and mapping the rock art to better comprehend how the landscape, particularly the Orinoco River, influenced the formation of social networks in the region before European encounters. Eight, 500-year-old spines on sticks. In Peru's Chincha Valley, an astonishing discovery has unfolded as nearly 200 human spines meticulously threaded onto reed posts have been unveiled. The findings, detailed in a recent study published in the archaeology journal Antiquity, present an unparalleled burial practice never before documented in the region. The majority of these unique vertebrae on posts were located in large indigenous graves known as Chulpas, dating back several centuries to a tumultuous period between 1450 and 1650, coinciding with the decline of Inca rule and the rise of European colonization. The majority of these unique vertebrae on posts were located in large indigenous graves known as Chulpas dating back several centuries to a tumultuous period between 1450 and 1650, coinciding with the decline of Inca rule 
and the rise of European colonization. Archaeologists found that each of the 192 spines on posts predominantly comprised the remains of a single individual with adults and juveniles from the indigenous community chosen for this distinctive practice. The Chincha Valley's history during this era was marked by epidemics, famines, and the significant impact of European colonization resulting in a decline in the local population. Jacob L. Bongas, the lead author of the study, noted the turbulent nature of this period and suggested that the vertebrae on posts may have served as a ritualized response to the upheavals brought about by European colonialism. Furthermore, the study proposes that these spine configurations could be a direct and indigenous reaction to the widespread looting of graves during the colonial period. The intricate threading of spines onto reed posts occurring post-initial burial indicates a potential effort to reconstruct the deceased, possibly as a response to the damage inflicted by grave looting. 7. 3,000-year-old tomb Big news from Peru, archaeologists just uncovered a 3,000-year-old tomb near Cajamarca and it's got everyone buzzing. Picture this, the final resting place of what they're calling a priest adorned with a jaguar depiction. Cool, right? This discovery went down at the Pacopampa Archaeological Complex, an ancient burial ground that's been a hotbed of excavations since 2005. Inside the tomb, they found three ceramic stamps, think ancient body art tools and eye-catching decorated ceramics. But here's the kicker. The priest's face was covered in red cinnabar, a rare substance that screams elite status, considering it had to be trucked in from the mountains. Now the term priest might be a bit of a stretch. This person seems more like a shaman a mystical figure dabbling in the supernatural. 6. Giant Anaconda A colossal 33-foot-long or approximately 10-meter-long anaconda weighing an astounding 880 pounds or 400 kilograms stunned construction workers on a building site in northern Brazil. Unearthed after an explosive event in a cave in Altamira, Pará, the massive serpent with a 3.3 foot or 1 meter diameter was captured in footage as it lay chained to a crane. The video depicts the anaconda being hoisted up, revealing its distinctive yellow spotted belly. While reactions on social media express dismay at the perceived fate of the snake, it remains uncertain whether the workers indeed ended its life. Commenters voiced concern highlighting the potential longevity of such a colossal snake and lamenting its fate for the sake of mere photographs. In contrast, the Guinness World Record for the longest snake in captivity currently belongs to Medusa, a 25.2 foot or 7.67 meter snake in Kansas City, US. The incident occurred during construction activities related to the Belo Monte Dam, a significant hydroelectric complex on the Xingu River, slated to become the world's fourth largest dam installation after China's Three Gorges Dam. 5. Jurassic-era winged lizard A new species of dinosaur named Goncocan Nanoi has been discovered in Chile's sub-Antarctic region as reported in the journal Science Advances. These duck-billed dinosaurs lived around 72 million years ago in the Magallanes region of southern Chile. Weighing nearly a ton and reaching up to 13 feet or 4 meters in length, Goncocan Nanoi was an herbivore that roamed during the early Maastrichtian age in Magallanes. The discovery challenges previous assumptions about partial duckbill fossils found in southern Patagonia and Antarctica. Researchers suggest that Goncocan Nanoi's ancestors originated in North America and migrated to South America, venturing into regions where other hadrosaurids never reached. The name 
Gonkoken comes from the Ionic Henk language of the indigenous people of the region, translating to wild duck or swan. Additionally, Nanoi pays homage to Mario Nana Uloa, who played a crucial role in the initial discovery of dinosaur bones in Chilean Antarctica 4. 73 pre-Incan mummies. In Peru, a remarkable archaeological find has unfolded at the Pachacamac site near Lima, putting an emphasis on the Wari Empire's burial customs during its zenith from 800 to 1100 AD. A team of archaeologists uncovered 73 burial bundles impeccably preserved beneath the terraces of a later Inca temple. These bundles, crafted from cloth or plant materials, contained mummified remains with some adorned by intricately carved wooden masks and ceramic false heads. Notably, Pachacamac has long been revered as a religious hub for various ancient Andean civilizations, featuring a renowned temple and serving as an oracle location for a fertility deity. Contrary to earlier beliefs, the newly discovered graves challenge the notion of continuous religious significance at Pachacamac, indicating its role as a ceremonial center and residential area during the Wari rule. The rituals and iconography observed in the findings align more closely with coastal northern traditions than the heartland sites of the Wari Empire. The burial bundles, found both individually and in family clusters, provide a unique view into Wari cultural practices surrounding passings and ancestor veneration. Some bundles showcased wooden masks and ceramic additions meticulously placed on the deceased, suggesting elaborate preparations for the afterlife journey. The well-preserved state of these artifacts enables modern scientific analysis, such as CT scans, promising detailed insights into Wari society and their imperial influence along the coast. 3. 168 new geoglyphs in Nazca lines. Researchers at Yamagata University in Japan just found 168 new geoglyphs in Peru's Nazca Desert, and it's pretty mind-blowing. These ancient drawings discovered using aerial photos and drones include depictions of humans, camelids, birds, killer whales, felines, and even a Homer Simpson look-alike with big cartoon eyes. How cool is that? Now, these geoglyphs are believed to date between 100 BC and AD 300, and they've added more pieces to the puzzle of the Nazca Lines, a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The researchers at Yamagata University teamed up with the IBM Thomas J. Watson Research Center in New York using artificial intelligence, AAI, to analyze aerial images. Smart move, right? AI can spot markings that our eyes might miss. But here's the kicker. There are now a total of 358 Nazca lines, and who knows, there might be hundreds more waiting to be discovered. It's like uncovering a hidden chapter in history fascinating, isn't it? Let's see what else these geoglyphs reveal about the ancient mysteries of the Nazca Lines. 2. Tiwanaku Situated nearly 13,000 feet or 4,000 meters above sea level in Bolivia, the ancient city of Tiwanaku thrived between AD 500 and AD 1000, peaking in influence across the southern Andes. Though lacking a written language, its cultural and political impact stretched into modern-day Peru, Chile, and Argentina. With an estimated population of over 10,000 at its zenith, Tiwanaku showcased advanced urban planning in a grid layout across more than two square miles or six square kilometers, with only a fraction excavated to date. Over 4,000 years ago, Permanent settlement in the Lake Titicaca area began, marked by the domestication of llamas and alpacas, frost-resistant crop cultivation, and raised field agriculture techniques. Tiwanaku's ascendancy, rooted in consensus and cultural ties, featured significant structures like the Sunken Temple, Kalasasaya, Akapana, and Pumapunku. Despite its decline around AD 1000, 
Tiwanaku endured in local mythology, even becoming integral to Inca beliefs about the origin of mankind. One, Quilmes ruins. The ruins of Quilmes, situated in the province of Tucumán, stand as one of Argentina's largest archaeological sites, revered by the indigenous people sharing its name. The historical significance lies in the Quilmes' remarkable resistance against Spanish conquerors, who only subdued them 130 years after their initial invasion in 1535. Following defeat in 1665, the Quilmes were forcibly relocated with around 400 surviving a grueling 870 mile or 1,400 kilometer long journey. Some evaded the Spaniards, concealing their identity in their native region. Established around the 10th century, the settlement at the foot and slopes of Alto del Rey thrived due to fertile soil, ample water, and strategic control over trade routes. The Quilmes exhibited advanced social and economic organization, constructing terraced fields, elaborate irrigation systems, and fortifications. The reconstructed lower and upper sections, now Ciudad Sagrada de Quilmes, represent only 15% of the extensive ancient settlement. Which discovery from South America did you find the most shocking? Let us know in the comments. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more videos that we made, click on one on the screen or take a look at the channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.